From Jack Ryan to Batman, Ben Affleck has played a variety of characters over his near 40-year career, but just as interesting are the roles he didn't play. Pay attention. You will see how genius creates a legend. Thank you, sir. Affleck grew up knowing he wanted to be an actor and booked the PBS series The Voyage of the Mimi at age 12 in 1984. After school specials and TV movies followed and helped him land an audition for the lead in 1988's License to Drive, which he lost to Corey Haim. No way, man. Look, I have a driver's exam to take Saturday. I don't want to get killed. A year later, after working as an extra in Field of Dreams with his best friend Matt Damon, he helped Damon secure an agent and the two traveled from Boston to New York to audition for Robin in Tim Burton's Batman. Unfortunately, the character was removed from the script and no one was cast. Affleck booked supporting roles in 1992's School Ties and 1993's Dazed and Confused, and was considered for Skeet Ulrich's role in 1996's Scream, but he truly broke out with 1997's Good Will Hunting, which earned he and Damon screenwriting Oscars. I don't know much, but I know that. A few years later, the studio behind Office Space wanted Affleck or Damon to add star power to the comedy, but writer-director Mike Judge felt Ron Livingston was a better fit. Around that time, Affleck was attached to Runaway Bride along with Sandra Bullock, but the pair were eventually replaced by Richard Gere and Julia Roberts. However, Affleck and Bullock co-starred in a different romantic comedy, Forces of Nature, which was released within months of Runaway Bride in 1999. Affleck was considered for Cyclops in the X-Men, but lost out to James Marsden and turned his focus to Michael Bay's Pearl Harbor after working with the famed director a few years earlier on Armageddon. You know what I was thinking? What? <laughs> I, I really don't think that the animal cracker qualifies as a cracker. It turned out Affleck did want to miss a thing and turned down Four Brothers in 2005, with the role eventually going to Mark Wahlberg. Affleck and Damon were among the actors considered for Brokeback Mountain, while Goodwill Hunting director Gus Van Sant was still attached to direct, but casting changed when Ang Lee took over. And Affleck was attached to an earlier version of Cinderella Man with Billy Bob Thornton directing, before Russell Crowe and Ron Howard stepped into the ring for the boxing biopic. In 2006, Affleck was set to make a different sports movie, the basketball drama Glory Road, but had to pull out due to scheduling conflicts and Josh Lucas stepped in. A year later, he was in talks to play John McClane's son in his Armageddon co-star Bruce Willis's new Die Hard movie, but Live Free or Die Hard went in a different direction with the script and Justin Long came aboard as a computer expert. I know what I'm doing, I've done this before. All worked out for Affleck though, as he was able to make his directorial debut with Gone Baby Gone. He initially intended to star in the drama, but eventually decided to focus behind the camera and cast his brother, Casey Affleck, instead. In 2007, Affleck earned his first Golden Globe acting nomination for Hollywoodland, playing television actor George Reeves. Actually, George, you're reading the other role. Oh, uh, Superman. A few years later, Affleck considered joining then-wife Jennifer Garner in The Ghosts of Girlfriends Past while Kevin Smith was still directing, but passed when Smith moved on, paving the way for Matthew McConaughey to take the part. Affleck was also at one point attached to Focus alongside Kristen Stewart, but the two fell out due to scheduling conflicts before Will Smith and Margot Robbie got it made. Instead, 13 years after Daredevil, Affleck returned to comic book movies and played Batman in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, Suicide Squad, and Justice League. Affleck was largely expected to continue playing the Dark Knight and direct the next movie, but has said he was unable to crack the story and decided to leave the role. He instead returns to the big screen at this year's Sundance Film Festival, alongside Anne Hathaway in the drama The Last Thing He Wanted. Good day, gentlemen. And until that day comes, Keep your head to the grindstone.